Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin and today we're starting a new series. I'm so excited. So in this series, I'm going to talk about the plants that I've transitioned to passive hydroponics and basically the ones that are thriving, really. I do have to say that it's not perfect, but I'm just going to point out the plants and the different plant groups that have done well in my care at least. So the first plant group that I'm going to talk about in the series is the Syngonium podophyllum. Hey guys, I'm just popping in here because I just wanna correct what I said. The last Syngonium is not in the Syngonium podophyllum family. Um, it's just in the Syngonium family, unless I'm wrong. And also the last one could be uh, Wenslandii or Rayii. So I don't know. I don't know what it is because it was a free plant and there was no description. So anyways, I don't have a large collection, but these plants just adapted so well to passive hydroponics. Okay guys, so the first Syngonium that I'm going to talk about is the Syngonium podophyllum albovergatum. So I'll do a little bit of a showcase here. It's probably not gonna be in focus, but who cares really? So I bought this plant in the fall of 2019. So I wanna say eight months ago, and I made the mistake of potting this plant in a, a soil mix that was almost too well draining, I guess. It didn't have a lot of components that held on to moisture and water, so it just kept drying out. On top of that, I had this plant in a terracotta pot, and for those that don't know, terracotta pots wick moisture away from the soil. So basically, this plant was done for, really. Then in March, I decided to transition a whole bunch of my plants to LECA, including this one. This is actually one of the first ones that I transitioned. And as you can see, it's been thriving. There's a bunch of new growth. This leaf, I don't know what it's doing, but she's, <laughs> look, what is that leaf shape? Anyhow, I think it's really cute and endearing, I guess, I don't know. Endearing, can you use that word to describe a plant? I don't know, I'm gonna say endearing. And actually guys, I had two of these. One of them didn't do so great, so I literally chopped the entirety of its top off, threw it into Lekka, and now, that's this plant over here. And there's a new leaf coming. So honestly, guys, try everything you can before you throw away a plant because look, I have, I saved it and I have a second one now. And just to prove and show you how much this plant loves water, I'm going to lift the, I guess the net pot out of the, um, the catcher pot just to show you the root system. So, Look at that. <laughs> Let me just cover my face. It is coming out of this self-watering uh, net pot. The second plant is the Syngonium podophyllum pink splash. So I got this more recently than the previous one, but she is doing so well. So again, we got some new roots here. I don't know. She, this one is a bit slower um, when I'm comparing my other two in this video, but um, it might have just been because it was acclimating to the environment and to Lekka. And the third one, this actually wasn't one that I wanted, but now I'm so in love with it. Um, oh God, I can't, what's the name of this? Syngonium when when Syngonium wens, Wenslandii. Syngonium Wenslandii. That sounds right, I think. So here it is. I was never into this plant, but look at the foliage. It is insane to me. Fun fact, this plant was actually a free gift. Um, I forgot where I bought this from, but I ordered a bunch of plants and they just shipped a free one. So I'm very thankful. I, I don't think I ordered this. That's weird. <laughs> it was one small cutting and maybe had two leaves or, yeah, it had two leaves. It had a, 
large stem, so I actually chopped that in half because the root system was actually very large. And this is the bottom cutting here. It has three leaves. And then the main plant, the leaves, this leaf is so big. Again, this, pro this one probably has the biggest root system. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane to me. What is going on here? So those are three plants from the Syngonium family that have thrived in passive hydroponics. I do have one more Syngonium. I don't know if it's doing well. It's, I don't know. I think there's a nutrient deficiency somewhere, but I, I'm just still trying to figure out where it is. Anyways, if you guys want to see more plants that have thrived in passive hydroponics, please let me know. The next family of plants that I'm going to talk about it's probably gonna be monsteras and begonias. Also, if you wanna see how I transition my plants into LECA and passive hydroponics, or if you wanna just know what passive hydroponics is, then please let me know. And obviously, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. And I guess that's it. Bye.